Ashutosh, if you allow me, can I ask you one question? Why not? Of course, you can ask too. <laughs> Out of the box, I'm asking one question from you. I do not understand what is success for them because they're never happy. So what is success according to Ashutosh? Uh, be successful for others. I want to be successful for myself. That is fulfillment and contentment, satisfaction of the life, peace, happiness, that I want to enjoy my process, whatever I do, rather than going for the material things and buying a lot and without uh, like getting a satisfaction from it. Because today's era is people are, people are just running behind success. Because whenever I recommend to my students, they say, oh, sir, I don't get native speakers. Oh, man, why native speakers will talk to you? Because they are already <laughs> after in it, right? Why they will talk to you for no reason? Yeah, first yeah. and foremost, we need to communicate well. No matter you speak in a simple English or in advanced English. Yeah, but they are not able to speak even a single sentence, but they want their like, you know, speaking and partners from UK, US, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa and Canada. So all these countries, they want to speak. But yes, good evening, Manju ma'am. How are you today? Good evening, Ashutosh. I'm doing fantastic since morning. Yes, I was a little busy. I was caught up with sessions and all. You have a lot of experience of teaching, like 32 years. Oh my God, more than my age. So, <laughs> so <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So, like, uh, coming to the next question, as you said, like you started your YouTube channel, like English with Manju, ma'am, and you have been a teacher for more than 32 years. So, like, why spoken English? Why spoken English? What you used to teach, and why spoken English now? Okay. Actually, I was the teacher of English in my school. So I mm -hmm. started my channel for English and I used to upload uh, grammar videos. Initially for nearly one year, I uploaded only and only grammar contents. But once mm -hmm. I came to know about these conversation videos, I just uh, happened to watch certain videos of many people. Then I thought, why should I not start this? Because I'm a retired person, I just want to kill my time. So this is the best way I can spend my time, I can enjoy. And yes, of course, I can learn too. I always made it a point that wherever I joined, I joined in a convent school so that I can improve my English. Okay. Yes. And yep. seeing my age, you can understand. That was not the time nobody was emphasizing on speaking. My parents mm -hmm. had just a concern that, yeah, my daughter is getting good marks in English. She knows grammar rules. Never my parents said that you need to speak to. You should try to speak. That only uh, came in my life, in my mind, once I started teaching. Then I thought that speaking has a great role. If I want to be really a teacher, uh, then I need to be very, very fluent in English. And that time I started working on this. And now wherever I am, I am there. <laughs> That's it. OK, so like uh, you were a private teacher or government teacher? I was a private teacher. You were a private teacher. So how was the environment uh, in private schools where you taught? Uh, was it good for spoken English students? And because what I see sometimes is students complain. They say like they study in English medium school, but this is for the namesake. They don't get environment to speak English. Most of the schools in UP, I think, not in Lucknow, of course, you can get good schools. But in my city, people complain this. So what about you? Like, how was your school? Was there environment for students to speak English and communicate with the like staff and teachers in English? Yeah, it was very much there. As I told you that I always made it a point to apply in all the convent schools. It was not only oh. uh, private, it was convent school. OK, so there, you know, nuns system. So all management and most of the teachers even. OK, so they were either Christian or they were nuns. So there was totally the atmosphere of speaking English. And that was only the reason for me to apply in convent schools so that I can also improve my English. OK, so oh. there was. Absolutely, English environment, even not one single sentence, students cannot speak in Hindi. Okay, that's a great thing. Of course, even though in my hometown, there are many convent schools, they call it, but there is no environment of spoken English. They call themselves like a school name with the convent and things, but they teach all, most of the things in Hindi. So that's why I'm asking because like it's, it's strange for me that convent English medium schools, but there are also no environment of spoken English. So as you said about this nun system, I heard from Shanta ma'am also. 
she told me the same thing that when she used to be a student she was a student of a school where was the nun system or something uh, where it was compulsory for her to speak english uh, like yes. everywhere so that's yeah. that's really good so like uh, now as you you were a teacher okay so you used to teach english and you used to make them understand in hindi as well sometimes you were teaching them in bilingual or just it was totally english it was totally in english whether the students oh, understand great. or not but somehow i had to make them understand in english that was yeah, the compulsion actually when we get more more and more language when we get more opportunity when it is compulsory for us to make them understand in english that's why i like talking to the people from south india i like training people from south india because it is compulsory for both of us to like you know, speak in english there is no chance to speak or make them understand in hindi right so uh, like i'll tell you a story about my school i was a student of navodaya so of okay. course i got a teacher when i was at 9th standard so he she was a really nice teacher and she taught in english for one or two days but like my classmates they were really really like upset and they requested to principal they requested to teacher that please ma'am teach uh, like you know us in hindi as well not in english totally 100% i wouldn't be able to understand they complained then she started uh, like you know teaching in both but mm-hmm. as you said like it was compulsory for you so it is good for students maybe they will struggle in the beginning but later they will be able to become better with the language right yeah certainly because they know that there is no other alternative teachers are not going to open their mouth in hindi so they have to they have to understand in english itself so coming to the next uh, point as you said like you talked for 32 years now you're running a youtube channel so how's your experience talking to the people from all around the country like from all sort of backgrounds how do you like that i actually love to talk to different people and i connect people from all over india and not only from india even all over world you can say so when mm-hmm. i connect i just want to listen to them actually what is their questions and i want to know about their places their uh, their culture very especially so i actually love it okay so you like it okay so uh, and and what about youtube so how how's your experience like you know youtube technicalities of the youtube doing conversation is a different thing yeah <laughs> oh ashutosh <laughs> what did you ask uh, i'm really really very very bad at techno uh, technology i was actually very bad i can say that a bit of it i have learned but still i struggle a lot uh, if i talk about technology i just have understood how to upload a video and how to make a simple thumbnail but yes i love to connect with people once i have a uh, video i know a little bit of editing so i do that and after uploading if i see that some views have come i become happy <laughs> that's it yeah, exactly because it takes a lot of time and nowadays this is also like you know something which is very important to know because youtube thumbnail your uh, title your description your hashtags and tags all these things are important if you want a lot of views on your video so yes. i can understand it's not an easy task it being a typical teacher it's really different from a, being a good youtuber because if you're a teacher okay you like interacting you helping you like helping others you like like you know giving feedback to them but when it comes to like all these things like what i told you those are totally different from this field and it's very generally it's very difficult for teachers to do it yeah. and teachers and teachers of my age there are teachers of your okay. age also so they are used to of mobile laptop and these things in our days mm-hmm. we never knew about internet what is internet what is wifi what is mobile even we did not have uh, what to say landline mobile uh, phones mm, so yes exactly yeah. for yeah. like you know from you or like if i talk about from your perspective it's very difficult at least yeah for us we are habitual we use a lot of social media platforms and things yeah yes, okay yes. Yes. So and and uh, just as you said so how long it has been for your youtube channel like how long like you know how I, long have I you- started in the year 2022 in the month of september so nearly it's more than one and a half year i can say oh one in the and a half of september okay. it will be two years oh great i'm so happy <laughs> for that <laughs> oh great but yes i'm simply was doing 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 and enjoying that's it 
Yeah, exactly. For you, it's something which you like a lot and you are able to enjoy that, enjoy your movement. So that's really good. You don't expect a lot of things from YouTube, I feel, right? So, yes, yes. Of course, yeah, exactly. uh, people are greedy about it. Once I upload, I certainly see that how many views are there, how many likes are there. But whatever I get, I remain happy with that. Yeah, this is like, you know, I would say like humans behavior always, even though if we are going to plant or just, you know, flower, we always try to check out the like leaves of that. When I was a child, I still remember when I used to plant something, I would like, you know, open my eyes and I would check out like how many leaves are there? Something. Five or six. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> something has grown or not. Well, yeah, exactly. Planting. <laughs> yes and it's a very difficult thing when i started my youtube channel as well always i used to check out like uh, youtube analytics like how many views how many comments but it was frustrating i would say it was not good but now i don't uh, check it like you know like multiple times only like once uh, like in the morning or maybe at night so that's okay because checking that also it's give you a lot of problem that why are you not getting views why are not people commenting you this is a good video so something like that but uh, most it is interesting, actually. <laughs> uh, some videos with good information will get least views, and some videos where hardly some uh, informative things are there, but that video will go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. like and even though I have experienced the same, for me it's been more than three years on YouTube, that if you think that this video will get a lot of views, never ever. So, <laughs> But when you like, you know, you upload your video without thinking a lot about it, maybe you will get a lot of views. True. It's really <laughs> common. You don't even know like what it's, people it's like. Yeah, people yeah. Like. No, more than that, what is the algorithm of YouTube? We cannot guess. Nobody knows. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Only yes. you have to focus on consistency and you have to upload as much as you can. So yeah. maybe yes, it yes. can work like in two months, four months, six months, it happens. And channel always goes like, you know, there are always ups and downs. Sometimes like YouTube will recommend your videos and the next month maybe you will go down. So yeah, yeah. that's how it is. Because in March I uploaded 31 videos in 31 days. But yeah. I got really less views. I was not expecting that from YouTube actually. But in April I uploaded only six videos. But videos were doing good. So youtube also <laughs> checks <laughs> how much consistent you are yes yeah so how yeah so it is only like love your work put your videos and don't expect a lot maybe you will get it if your videos are good okay yes yes so yes. Mm -hmm. coming yeah. to the another question mm -hmm, related yes. to spoken english so what do you think like as you have done conversation with all kind of people like beginners intermediate and advanced so what do you think what are the major problems people have about spoken English. What do you hear oftenly from people? Yes, yes. Very often people used to say that I know I have vocabulary, I know grammar rules, but I fumble while speaking. I'm hesitant. I'm not able to speak. Yes, very especially when it comes to speak in front of somebody. So they face lots of problem. And yeah, Hindi medium students, they face lots of problem because they don't have even good vocabulary and they never got a chance or environment to speak in English. So that is their basic concern. And uh, what to say? Uh, hesitation is the, uh, the biggest challenge for them. They don't mm. want to open their mouth, but they want to become fluent. That is what I feel that that is the biggest hurdle for them. Yeah, exactly. That's a big problem. People want to become a speaker without speaking anything. Yes, yes. How they will be able to become God knows everything. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, some are there, some are there, they are not able to speak, but still they are confident. They speak wrong Fine. English, but they are Fine. so much confident that they will ask thousands of questions in front of you. They will not feel that whether they are speaking right or they are speaking wrong, but they will continuously speak. They try to speak and they have started their YouTube channel also. They don't find it difficult to upload even some something has gone wrong. Those kind of videos also they are uploading in a way they are just practicing to enhance their this uh, language. Exactly, of course. At least they are trying. So they are it trying. Will... They are trying. Yeah. Okay. So as you said, ma'am, you were like Hindi medium student. Then you became English medium teacher. So like you know, at that point of time, have you done something? Uh, just any activities? Like nowadays, we do many things. 
like practice tongue twisters. Now people say like, of course, I used to do the same speaking in front of camera, speaking in front of mirror, talking to myself, all those things. So have you done something to make yourself better with language? Sorry, Asutosh, I could not do anything in my past, <laughs> all things which you asked, because I started teaching in the year 1990. Mm. I I did not know about mobile. I knew about camera, but I did not know about mobile that time even. OK, so I did not practice that. Of course, I was good at grammar because my father was very good at English and he was always behind us to teach us grammar every now and then just while eating, while playing certain rules. He will just uh, uh, no, he will tell us and then he will he will ask the questions about it. What is 231 rule? What is 123 rule? What do you know about how do you arrange persons? OK, how do, will you connect two subjects with either or neither nor this that? So, so many grammar rules he used to teach when we were too small. We means me, my brother. So structure mm -hmm. of sentences. Those things were there in my head. Only the problem as you asked is speaking. Yeah, I was not yeah. using this language in my family or anywhere. So once I went in the campus, I got full environment and I utilized it a lot because I had grammar in my head. I made it a point that I'm not going to open my mouth in Hindi. And uh, I usually I was speaking correct English also. And every day, yes, because of the environment I learned until date I'm learning. Uh, I did not practice that's anything that's actually. I did not practice anything. Like Rather, you can say nowadays I'm practicing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nowadays, yeah, it's it's like you know talking to the people. It's a great back practice. I would say. For sure. I learn quite a lot yeah. when I connect to people like you people. No, so new generation. Whenever I connect to those people, I learn quite a lot. Like you uh, told me, you asked me so many questions. So I get to know that, OK, I should work on this also <laughs> because I have never done it. Yeah, OK, but I practiced many things from the first day I started speaking to like body talk with strangers. I used to talk to myself. I used to like you know, record myself. I used to read out loud. I tried everything like, you know, because whatever people used to suggest me, I would work on that. But most of the time I would be listening to people and I would be speaking to people. That's what I have done a lot. I would say I used to speak for five hours, six hours because I was totally free in COVID-19 and I had a lot of time to do this. OK, so yeah, coming to the final question of the session about uh, the learners who want to learn a spoken English. So what do you think what they should do and what is the piece of advice from your side for them who are watching this video or who want to speak English? So. Yes, from my side, what I feel is speaking comes by speaking so very first thing they should start speaking without thinking whether they are speaking right or they are speaking wrong so they should allow themselves to make mistakes but yeah they should be consistent in speaking every day every day oh, usually what happens they decide that yeah i'll talk maybe i'll speak for 20 minutes for 30 minutes one day two days they do and after that they fail they should not do this. So if really honestly they want to learn this language, they need to be focused and consistent. And yes, of yeah, course, exactly. as as we all know, LSRW. So yeah, they should follow this mantra also. Yeah, exactly. LSRW. It is important for every single language. I used to listen to people like Sadhguru, Gaur Gopaldas, Priyanka Chopra. I have listened to many people like that. And then it comes to speaking, so speak to the people. And second thing, something is better than nothing always. Because whenever I recommend to my students, they say, oh, sir, I don't get native speakers. Oh, man, why native speakers will talk to you? Because they are already <laughs> after in it, right? Why they will talk to you for no reason? <laughs> Very true, Ashutosh. Uh, why native speakers are going to talk with us? <laughs> So I get this question frequently and they say like I, I say to them think from your mind. Will you talk in Hindi to somebody like you know for no reason? Why right? So that is the only like people want something in exchange right? If you are able to help them with technology or something which they don't know then for sure they are going to have conversation with you. 
so that's how it is always they complain sir i don't get advanced speakers sir i don't get like you know good speakers so i'll always say to them something is better than nothing so at least do it whatever no, you get most of the time people want to become advanced speaker start first exactly. be, become beginners then intermediate and then it comes to advanced yeah first yeah. and foremost we need to communicate well no matter you speak in a simple english or in advanced english but we should know to communicate that is very important yeah but they are not able to speak even a single second sentence but they want the like you know speaking Connected. partners from uk us australia new zealand south africa and canada so all these countries they want to speak but but i think it's not practical it's only their dream actually so it's not that's practical yeah yeah you are true ashutosh if you allow me can i ask you one question why not of course you can ask too <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing to do with english language nothing to do being an english trainer uh, out of the box <laughs> i'm asking one question from you what is your take on success how words can you describe what is success because today's era is people are people are just running behind success i do not understand what is success for them because they are never happy so what is success according to ashutosh uh, according to ashutosh it's different from today's people in today's culture because it's a uh, hustle culture is going on and i went to delhi and i lived there for month i was in noida for like one month in 2022 and i had seen people running for work a lot of people on metro stations then i felt it's not for me i don't belong to this place i wouldn't be able to live here for very long i came back to my city kanpur a chill enjoy like whatever it is so what is mean success to me it is very important for you to do something which you like and that is success for you like if i like interacting people or interacting with people if i like making conversations if i like training people it means success to me even though if i get less money i'm happy with it i don't want to go for a like in you know, a work where i'm not interested at all if they are offering me way more than that which i'm getting right now i don't get anything at this moment i don't get a lot of money to be honest but i like it what i am doing it and the same point of time i like people comment me people relate to me they are able to learn from me that is more important for me rather than working in a company where 10000 workers are working and there is no identity of yours that's right true. so That's for me success is something i don't want to like you know uh, be successful for others i want to be successful for myself that is fulfillment and contentment satisfaction of the life peace happiness that i don't want to enjoy my process whatever i do rather than going for the material things and buying a lot and without uh, like getting a satisfaction from it so my success is totally different i would say uh from those people who are running for like you know this luxury life and things so i want to do something which i like a lot that's why i was a commerce student i shifted to english and i like interacting people now so that's why i am continuing this without caring that what will be my future i'm i'm loving this nowadays so i will continue of course after a certain point of time if like you know i want something else from myself maybe i'll try for sure so that's how like you know success uh, looks for me i would say i would say success is nothing it is only well like satisfaction very well yeah. explained ashutosh i'm happy to know about it it because you are uh, today's generation and then your feelings are quite different from today's children thank you okay. i too feel the same i too feel the same that whatever you are happy doing it that is success for you so yeah i also feel that happiness is only success if you are happy doing anything it means you are successful and yeah, exactly. you have any amount of money you have any amount of you no know, fame but you are not happy then what kind of success it is yeah yeah i don't know why people are running for the social media status and things nowadays this is era of comparison this is era of show off people are unhappy inside but they try to show themselves like Hi, yeah this is exactly this is media, right? because they are the <laughs> happiest person on the planet they want to show others even though they are not so the reality behind the social media is totally different even though at my videos don't like when i come on the camera i try to smile 
but it is not something that always I'm happy like you know throughout the day. But this is a camera skill that when you are on camera, people like your energy. People don't like when you are down. So you have to learn like when you are camera, you have to give like you know positive vibes to others. So that's what I learned in this YouTube or YouTube journey. But apart from this, success is something different which you like doing. And if you're happy with yourself, you're successful because you wouldn't be successful according to others like you know, ever, I would say. That's great. Great to know about success. Definition of success by Ashutosh. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very, very thanks. Uh, it yeah, was, it was a really nice question. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Actually, you know, so, everything you were talking so uh, uh, suddenly I felt that let me ask this boy, what does he want? What is success for him? Yeah, exactly. It's a very important question to ask people. I ask people to know, like, you know, I want to know also their thoughts, what's about life, what they think about life. I'm always curious to know all these questions from the people, like what is life to them, why they are just you know, running for the things, like what they will get out of it. So it is very important to understand ultimate thing. So what do you want from yourself? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. So thank you so much. Many, many thanks to you, Manju, ma'am. It was really nice interacting with you and I have enjoyed throughout the session. Also, thank you so much. Many, many thanks to you for joining us. I too enjoyed, Ashu. I too enjoyed a lot. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.